Skeleton Crew is on a crash course for Disney Plus. Expected to hit in December. It's a slow, it's a slow crash. We can watch it happen. Hey everyone, I'm James. This is Digital Charcuterie. If you're new to the channel, click subscribe, ring the bell, stay up to date with all the latest videos, Star Wars and more over here. And if you like the video, hit the thumbs up. And if you don't like the video, hit the thumbs down. And if you're indifferent, hit one of them. Anyone you want. Let's talk uh, Skeleton Group. This show, I, I'm I'm actually excited for this show. I'm kind of I'm kind of uh, excited to see what's going to come from it, what it's going to be, how it will play out, and uh, if there's a purpose for it. That's I mean I'm really curious to see if there's a purpose for the show other than, other than just pure entertainment. That being said, I know there are a lot of people out there that uh, kind of like meh, kind of indifferent to the show, not exactly thrilled about it. Like who is this for? You know, is this for kids? Why do I want to watch a kids show? Uh, even though they've you know compared it to like Stranger Things in Space and and uh, and uh, what's the other thing they compared it to? Goonies. Why am I forgetting Goonies? I'm going to talk a lot about Goonies and what I'm doing. And actually, let's talk a little bit about Goonies because the plot of Goonies is obviously the ki the kids uh, town is you know it's going to be plowed over bulldozed and all that and they got they got to move and they don't want to move. Goonies never say die. Uh, and in this one, they live in a suburbia, right? The kids live in suburbia, which has been, I think, a topic of conversation for a lot of fans, uh, rightly or wrongly. So we have that. But really, what it comes down to is one-eyed Willie's treasure, right? The kids find the treasure map. They're like, oh, it's, it's a treasure map. It's a treasure map. And they find the treasure map, and they go hunt down this treasure, but they meet the Fratellis, right? And and the Fratellis chase them. Uh, they find stuff, and they want to get one-eyed Willie's treasure. So there's this big chase the kids are after one thing the fatalities are after the other in this show we have a bunch of kids we have a bunch of pirates and we have jude law jude law doesn't fit into the goonies equation unless he's brand a little old to be brand sure oh man imagine if they got josh brolin we're going to war on this he's in everything so they had so that that's the essence of that so i don't know how far skeleton crew is going to go into this but then it got me thinking kid these kids are jettisoned from their planet and they crash land somewhere else or they're just lost in space and they they come across these space pirates presumably jude law is with the space pirates he's got the gun that looks like he's with space pirates but what it doesn't matter they we know that the pirates are going to cross paths with these kids now what if before we get to the pirates the kids come into could the kids find a ship right they find something that they think is a is like a jedi temple but it's in the trailer, it's a ship. Maybe it's both. Maybe it's just a ship. We don't know. But what if on the ship, out of the ship, somewhere around, one of the kids or all of them come into beset possession with something that these pirates want, that these pirates need, that maybe Jude Law's John -na -na Wood also wants? See, I said, I said, if I keep saying it, I'll get it. And I got it. I think I got it. I could be wrong. Somebody correct me if I am. But what if they come across this? And what if this artifact or map maybe it's a map do they have maps in star wars yes james they're called wayfinders color ren uses one to find exegol in the rise of skywalker thank you so much for that side note side akbar so that so it could be a wayfinder but what's even cooler than a wayfinder is a holocron and i think it would be totally cool if these kids stumble across a holocron don't know what it is but these pirates want it. And the kids are like, well, if the pirates want it so bad, there's got to be something of significance with this, and we're not going to let them have it. And Jude Law comes into play, and he knows. And he might be a good guy. Probably is a good guy. He's a Jedi. He knows about holocrons, so though. He teaches them about holocrons. So this video is going to talk a little bit about how the Skele Skeleton Crew show might be more important to the Star Wars saga than we know, and it could have big implications for the future of the stories being told. Also, this is all purely speculation, but I hope you have fun as we go along on this ride. You're a Jedi. First, we gotta remember that there are different types of holocrons. So let's look at what they are, how they operate, all the, the little things, and why would Jude Law want one? Why would the pirates want one? Why would everyone want a holocron? If the holocron the kids find is a Jedi holocron, it could contain teachings about the Force, locations of hidden Jedi temples, or even records of surviving Jedi. Such knowledge could inspire a resurgence of the Jedi Order, making it a threat to the remnants of the Empire or other dark side factions. 
The pirates possibly working for the crime syndicate or dark side force users may want the holocron to either sell its valuable contents to the highest bidder or destroy it to prevent a Jedi revival. You can use that to hunt down Jedi that you can oh, Seriously. See, it doesn't have to be a Sith. could be a Jedi one. Dark light, you make the call. Or it could be, like I just said, a Sith holocron. A Sith holocron could be even more dangerous, containing dark side techniques, forbidden knowledge, or even the location of powerful artifacts. If a Sith or Dark Force user gets a hold of it, it could lead to revival of Sith influence or even the rise of a new dark side faction. Pirates might chase the Sith holocron to sell its secrets or use its power to gain control of territories, ships, or political influence. Whether Jedi or Sith holocrons could offer strategic information that could change the balance of power across the galaxy. Secret hyperspace routes, lost technologies, or hidden armies could be unlocked, all of which could be devastating in the wrong hands. The conflict over the holocron could draw attention from larger galactic powers like the New Republic, Imperial Remnants, or even the Chiss Ascendancy. And we know Thrawn, given the time frame of this, it's in the Mandoverse, but Thrawn is either back or he's coming back. We know that Jod Nana in the wood is uh, a different type of Jedi, but he is a Jedi and a Force. He's very Force-sensitive. So he might want the Holocron to either protect it from falling into the wrong hands or to gain knowledge that could help restore balance. He might feel a responsibility to safeguard the Jedi's legacy, especially in a post-Empire galaxy where the Jedi are largely extinct. John Na Na Wood, I just, and now I'm starting to like saying that name might have a complex backstory where he is seeking redemption from past mistakes. He could view the holocron as a means to correct his past or prevent others from making the same errors. Alternatively, he could have a personal stake in what the holocron contains, such as information about a long lost relative, former master, or even the secrets to immortality or power. John Nenna Wood may be acting as a guide or protector for the kid protagonist. If he believes the holocron could be used for good or knows that it could lead to the kids into a into further danger, he might want to acquire it to keep them safe. The holocron significance could also be tied to the kids' journey, making it vital for their survival or personal growth. If John Nana Wood operates in more of a gray area, not saying gray Jedi, just saying gray area. Perhaps as a rogue or mercenary, he could want the holocron for more personal gain. He might aim to sell it for profit, gain political leverage, or exchange it for something more valuable over time. His motives could shift as he bonds with the kids and becomes more protective of them. I think that's really what Star Wars uh, would do and would be good at is he would have ulterior motives, but then he would bond with the kids and he would Han Solo it at the end of A New Hope and return. Or he would never leave it. He would return. And he would use the holocron mostly for good, for not. But look, man, if they find a holocron, that would be exciting because we get holocrons. It's always exciting when we get them. We would understand a little bit more about them. And the implications could be significant to the future of Star Wars. There could be balance of the fourth force. Could the Sith come back? Could this lead to Shivp returning? Uh, does this tell? Is this how Luke finds out about, about Akto? There's a lot in there, a lot that they could used to tie into the sequels, into where we're going and into the Star Wars that everybody knows and loves. There's a lot there. I'm really excited for it. I mean, look, this is just a theory video. It's for fun. We're talking about it. We're discussing. This is what it's all about. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Could this happen? Could it not happen? Bueller? Bueller? Thanks, everybody, for watching. Give us a like and a subscribe. And until next time, may you be the force. May you be the force. May <laughs> the force of others be with you. Goonies never say die.